Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will use Terraform module to create the ECS tax execution rule. To start, the first thing I want you to do is open your project folder. Once you've opened your project folder, we will create another folder in the modules directory. So right click on the modules folder and select new folder. We will give this folder a name and we will call it ECS tax execution rule. Once you've given the folder a name, press enter. The next thing we will do is create the files in this folder that we will use to create the module. So what I want you to do is right click on it and select new file. The first file we will create is our main.tf. Type main.tf. Once you type main.tf, press enter. Right click on the folder again and select new file. The second file we will create is our variables.tf file. So type variables.tf. Once you type variables.tf, press enter. Right click on the ECS tax execution rules folder again and click new file. The third file we will create is our outputs.tf file. So type outputs.tf. Once you type the name, press enter. We have created the three files we need to create the module for our ECS tax execution rule. The next thing I want you to do is close this outputs.tf file for now because we don't need it. Then select your variables.tf file and drag it here to split your screen. Once you have split your screen, another thing we can do is close the explorer for now to create more room. You can also drag this here so you have something like this. So on the right side, we have our variables.tf file. On the left side, we have the main.tf file. The next thing I want you to do is download and open the reference file for this lecture in this video's description. This is the reference file we will use to create our ECS tax execution rule. And in this reference file, I've included the resource type and arguments that we need. Next, I want you to select everything in this reference file. I'll click Ctrl A to select everything, then right click to copy it. Once you've copied it, close the reference file and in your main.tf file, paste it in there. The first syntax is using data source to get the AWS manage policy for ECS tax execution rule. This is the syntax from the Terraform documentation that will allow you to get the default manage policy for ECS tax execution rule. If you want to find this syntax in the Terraform documentation, you can copy this too and paste it in Google. It will take you to the exact location of this syntax in the Terraform documentation. For this syntax, this is the default value we have to enter. And this is how I copied it from the Terraform documentation. So that is why we are not changing anything here. We will use the next syntax to create an IAM row. To create an IAM row, this is the resource type and this is the reference name I've given it. The first argument we will enter is the name of the row. And here I am using the project name to identify the name of the row. Remember, we export our project name in our VPC module. If I select the explorer and I open the VPC module on the outputs.tf file, this is where we export some value from the VPC module. You can see here, we export our project name here. So that is the project name that I will use in my main.tf file in the tax execution rule. So what I want you to do is copy this name from the outputs.tf. Once you copy the name, go back to your main.tf file and we will paste that name in here. Before we paste the name in the brackets, we will type var dot and paste the name. So this is what it looks like. We are just using our project name to name our tax execution rule. So when Terraform creates this IEM rule in our AWS account, it will call it our project name dash ECS tax execution rule. You can also change this to anything you want. Remember what we said in the previous lecture, 
Anytime you are referencing a variable in your main.tf file, you also have to enter that variable in your variables.tf file. So for this variable we just created, we will also enter it in the variables.tf file. To enter the variable, we will type variable. Once you get the suggestion, click enter to create the variables block. Once you've created the variables block, we'll give the variable a name. The name of the variable will be project name. So copy project name here and paste it here. That's all we need to do to create our variable. Let's clean up our syntax by moving this bracket up to look like that. The next argument we will enter is the assume rule policy. And this is the policy we want this IAM rule to assume. Remember up here, we are using data source to get the AWS managed policy for ECS tax execution rule. And this is the policy we want to assume here. So what you will do is copy everything here. Once you copy it, paste it down here. Then remove the quote here. Add a period between them. Remove the double quotes here. Add a period. Then come all the way to the end. Add another period. And type JSON. J S O N. This is the syntax we need to assume the policy we created up here. I also drag this here so you can see it a little bit better. Once we have write the syntax to assume the role, the next syntax will attach the ECS tax execution policy to the IAM role. So what we are doing next is we are attaching this policy to this IAM role. This is the resource type to attach an IAM role to a policy. And this is the reference name I've given it. The first argument is role. And this is the name of the IAM role we want to attach this policy to. We created the IAM role up here. So we'll copy the resource type and the reference name. Once you copy it, paste it down here. Then remove the double quotes between them. Add a period. Come all the way to the end. Add another period and type name. The attribute we are referencing is the name of the role. So that is why we are typing name here. The next argument is policy ARN. And that is the ARN of this AWS managed policy we are using. This is how you reference the ARN of the AWS managed policy for ECS tax execution rule. This came from the AWS documentation and Terraform documentation. Don't change this value. Once you have created your file, the next thing I want you to do is save it. Select file and select save all. Once you've saved it, we are going to close the outputs.tf file and we will also close the main.tf file. The next thing we will do is use this Terraform module we just created to create the IAM role in our project. To do that, select your project folder. My project folder is Jupyter Website ECS. Once you've selected your project folder, select the main.tf file in your project folder. Once you've selected the main.tf file, I want you to take this variables.tf and drag it here and drop it somewhere on the right side. And I'm going to drag this here so you can see everything. To use this Terraform module to create the IAM role in our project, scroll down in the main.tf file. Then here, press enter twice. To start writing the syntax, first we will start by typing module. Once you type module, press enter to create the modules block. I'll press enter. The next thing we will do is give the module a name. I'll call the module ECS tax execution rule. Once you've given the module a name, come down to the first line. In the first line, the first thing we want to do is specify where the module we are referencing is located. To do that, you will type source. This is very important. You always specify the source for your module. This is required. Once you type source, 
press space, equal sign, space. Then the next thing we will do is specify the parts to the module. To do that, type double quotes, then type two periods. Two periods mean we want to go up two directories from this Jupyter website ECS folder into the modules folder. The next thing we will specify is the name of the folder we are going into. The name of the folder is called modules. So here we'll type a forward slash and type modules. Make sure you type modules the same exact way you type the name here. Then enter another forward slash. In the modules directory, the name of the folder we want to reference is ECS tax execution rule. This is where the ECS tax execution rule module is located. So we will type it in here. Make sure you type the name of the folder the same exact way you entered it here. Once you type source, press enter. The next thing we will do is list the variables we are using in the ECS tax execution rules module. In the ECS tax execution rules module, we have the variables.tf file, which is what I have open here. And in that file, we are only using one variable. So we need to list that variable here. I'll copy the variable name and paste it here. Once you paste the variable name, press space, equal sign, and space. The next thing we will do is specify where this variable name is located. Remember this variable name, we created it in the VPC module, and we export that value in the outputs.tf file. If I select the outputs.tf file here, this is where we export the project name. So in your main.tf file, to reference it, you reference it by typing module, dot then you will specify the name of the module where you created the project name we created the project name in the vpc module which is up here and we named that module vpc so all you need to do is copy that module name then come down here paste it there then enter another period and all you need to do is copy this name here and paste it here so what this means is we want Terraform to go into the VPC module and find the value of project name because we created the project name in the VPC module. To clean up your code, for this equal sign, press the tab key to align them under each other. Then I'll do the same thing here. Once you've aligned the equal sign under each other, let's save our file. We'll click file and we'll click save all. Once you've saved your file, close your variables.tf file and you can close the outputs.tf file. The next thing we need to do is create the IAM role in our AWS account. To create the IAM role, right click on your project folder, then select Open in Integrated Terminal. This is very important. When you open your project folder in the terminal, it will open the terminal to the directory of your project folder. In order to create the IAM role in our AWS account, you have to open your terminal to the directory where your project folder is located. Once you've opened the terminal to the directory of your project folder, the first command we will type is Terraform init. Once you type Terraform init, press enter. And there you go. We have successfully initialized with our AWS environment. The next thing we will do is type Terraform apply to create the IAM role in our AWS account. Once you type Terraform apply, press enter. When you type Terraform apply and press enter, the first thing Terraform will do is show you the plan of what it would do in your AWS account. Here, Terraform is going to create two resources in my AWS account. And if you scroll up, you will see those resources. Once you are happy with everything, it is asking you, do you want to perform these actions? We'll type yes. Once you type yes, press enter. And there you go. Terraform has created the IAM role in my AWS account. Let's go to our account to review the IAM role. 
I'll go to the AWS Management Console. In the AWS Management Console, type IAM in the search box. Then select IAM under Services. On the IAM dashboard on the left side, select Roles. These are all the roles I currently have in my account. And you can see the role I just created here. It is the Jupyter ECS Tax Execution role. If you select it, under the Permissions tab, you will see the permission that is attached to it. It is the Amazon ECS Tax Execution Rules Policy. And this policy is AWS Managed. This is how you create the ECS Tax Execution Rule. There's one thing I forgot to do when we were writing our syntax. Let's go back to our Terraform file. I'll close the terminal for now. Then in the modules directory for the ECS tax execution role, I forgot to export the value of our role in the outputs.tf. The next thing I want you to do is close the main.tf file. Then under modules in your ECS tax execution role, select the outputs.tf file. In here, we want to export the ARN of our ECS tax execution role. We need to export this value so we can reference it later on when we create our ECS container. To export the ARN of our ECS tax execution role, we will start by typing outputs, then select the outputs block here. That will create the outputs block for you. The next thing we will do is give the outputs a name. We will call it ECS Tax Execution Role ARN. Once you've given the output a name, come down here and here we will enter the value. So type value. Once you type value, press space, equal sign and space again. Then we will list the value here. The value we want to export is the ARN of the ECS tax execution rule. So open your main.tf file in the ECS tax execution rule. Select the main.tf file. In the main.tf file, this is where we created the rule. So copy the resource type and the reference name. Once you've copied it, come back to your outputs.tf file, paste it in there, then remove the double quote. Add a period, then come all the way to the end, add another period, and type ARN. This is all we need to do to export the ARN of our ECS tax execution rule. When we export this value, we will reference it later on when we create our ECS container. The next thing I want you to do is save your file. We don't need to run Terraform apply again because the outputs.tf file does not create any resource. We only use it to export values of our resources. The next thing we need to do is push our code to our GitHub repository. To push your code to your GitHub repository, select source control here and type a message. I'm going to type created IAM role. Once you type your message, click this check mark to commit it. And once you've committed, click Sync Changes to push it to your GitHub repository. There you go. We have successfully pushed our updated code to the GitHub repository. Let's go to the GitHub repository to verify that the code is there. In your GitHub account, if you are not on the home page, select this icon to come to the home page. On the home page, we will select the name of our repository. Our repository is called Terraform Modules. I'll select it. In the Terraform Modules repository, select the Modules folder. And in the Modules folder, you can see the ECS tax execution role we created. Everything is there. If you select it, you'll see the main.tf file, outputs.tf file, and variables.tf file. This is how you use Terraform module to create the ECS tax execution rule. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.